This is a good movie, but unfortunately it does not have the magic and heart of the 84 movie with Ralph Macchio. I think Jackie Chan is good, but I think they should have casted Ralph Macchio as the older mature guardian helper in a life plot. A remake of the 1984 classic. 12-year-old Air Parker, Jaden Smith, moves to China with his mother, to Raji P. Hansen, and is instantly the target of Cheng Zhenhui Wang, a bully who was also a top kung fu student. Mr. Han, Jackie Chan, a reclusive maintenance man enters his apartment building, teaches him kung fu and prepares the air for an upcoming tournament in which Cheng will also partake in. The 84 Karate Kid is one of my favorite movies of all time, so it was really hard for me to get into this remake. But I'll come right out and say it. There is absolutely no reason for this movie to exist. This is not just me being nostalgic. If you want to see the Karate Kid, then go see the original. This remake is absolutely nothing new. It is seen for seeing the original with different character names and a different setting. I'm not just talking about similar scenes. It's every single detail. This is the prime example of how to do remake slash reboots wrong. Why did Bad and Begins work? It did something new with the character and franchise. Why did Superman Returns fail? It's a worse rehash of the original. We have the same thing here, a pathetic retelling of a classic movie. It's not just the same exact scenes and conflicts that are copied. Character reactions and dialogue are writ right from the original, but they try and slightly tweak them, to seem different. Let me give you some examples. In the original, when Daniel LaRusso, Ralph Macchio, first asks Mr. Miyagi, Pat Morita, to fix the kitchen faucet, he gets a little scared and closes the screen door. Deb Parker does the exact same thing action for action in this scene. Oh, but this time he's asking Mr. Han to fix the shower head. Oh, that is so different. Wow. How clever. I'm glad they remade this. I know it seems like that's some random detail, but if you've seen the original Karate Kid, you'll notice 800 of the same details happening. The characters literally mimic everything the original actors did. The dialogue is really what's pathetic, though and drove me nuts. This is how much effort they put into the script. In the original, Mr. Yagi tells the bad guy karate master, John Cress, Martin Keva, that it's not fair for Daniel to face a 5 to 1 problem. In this version, Mr. Han asks the bad kung fu master it's not fair for the air to face a 6 to 1 problem. You've got to be kidding me. Now I know what you're saying. Hey, I haven't seen the original Karate Kid, so this was all new to me. But what you don't realize is that the original is a superior film and I'm going to tell you why. Like I said, this remake just spits out the same scenes from the original, but they are more drawn out and boring. The director, Harold Ward, tries to make it this big epic spectacle, but it's completely uninteresting. What made the original work was its subtlety. Everything that happened was believable. This is where this version truly fails. One of my favorite parts about the original Karate Kid were the training scenes. If you haven't seen the original or this remake, I'm going to give away some spoilers in the next two paragraphs, so be warned. Mr. Yagi has Daniel basically do house chores like waxing cars, painting fences and so on. Like Daniel, you get frustrated because you aren't sure where it's going. But when you finally realize Mr. Yagi is teaching him how to block, it really hits you hard. The reveal of the scene was not over the top. It was believable, which is why it was so amazing. In this remake, they do this lame jacket on slash jacket off thing for about 15 minutes. And when the scene finally comes where Dare realizes he is learning Kung Fu, it's complete garbage. He's doing all kinds of advanced moves that have no correlation to the jacket on slash jacket off motion. It's totally ridiculous. The film wants you to buy this as believable like the original, but it fails horribly. And the tournament of the end is worse. Dare is doing moves that no human being could learn in the amount of time he had. But in the original Karate Kid, the stuff Daniel learned was totally believable. The training scenes in general are total crap. They are way too long. They are boring as hell, and there's nothing clever about them. There is one scene in the movie where Dare and Mr. Han are climbing these long steps. It lasted for eternity. Is there anything I liked about this remake? Jackie Chan held his own as Mr. Han. This is certainly one of his better acting performances. But his character actually leads me into something else I hated about the film. When Mr. Han rescues the air from the gang of Kung Fu bullies, they have the six minute comedic fight. What made Mr. Yagi so badass in the original was that he defeated the bullies in about 10 seconds. Isn't that more powerful than some lame drawn out comedic fight sequence? I guess that's just me. Jaden Smith is okay, but he lacks a lot of charisma in the role. At times, he's just going through the motions. So please, if you are going to take your kids to see the Karate Kid movie, don't go to this one. 
Just show them the original. The only thing outdated about the original is the music. All they did was take the original script and used a thesaurus to replace certain words in the dialogue. This was an astonishingly bad remake. Leaving out the comparisons to the original, it's simply just a really boring movie. The training scenes bored me to tears. It's a good movie but has many flaws movie. I have nothing else to say about it.